As the summer sun burns hot and bright, millions of people are slathering on the sunscreen, just like parents and doctors tell us to. But many don't actually know what chemicals make up the lotions and what you're putting on your skin. NBC 26's Holly Baker takes a closer look at the real story on sunscreens. A simple layer of sunscreen should protect you from the sun's powerful rays. But for people more mindful of an unpronounceable ingredient list, know that there's power in the protection and there are alternatives so you don't get burned. As new generations have gotten more sun smart, tanning oil is out and protective sunscreens are in. The medical community very strongly endorses the use of sunscreen. We know that the sun's radiation leads to increased incidence of skin cancer and melanoma. Protection from the sun for your skin, but what is it absorbing in the process? There is some concern about chemicals on our skin, and I think it's very smart to be aware of this. Uh, at this point, there's been no good scientific evidence that these chemicals are truly harmful. But it is wise to minimize your exposure to chemicals. Most of the chemicals thought to be harmful were removed from formulas in the 80s. Now any adverse reaction to the potent lotion is likely due to skin sensitivity or even allergies. Titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are actually an oil-based mineral. Olive and Sheboygan uses only natural ingredient products. And owner Caitlin Brott says their natural sunblock is incorporated into many of their moisturizers to protect the face on a daily Daily basis and it sits on top of the skin to block out the sun. Titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, they filter out UVA, UVB. Uh, they also are water resistant and so it's just a really nice way to have a, a natural element in your daily regimen that could replace the chemical if you're looking to cut chemicals out of your product. Customers at Olive are also encouraged to be fully involved in the ingredients by making products themselves in the store, often using the natural sunblock in items like lip balms to protect your lips, an area often forgotten. When you get back to the basics of natural, you know that you're going to have products that work with your body uh, rather than fighting against it. Sunscreen sprays are convenient, but a warning to those who use them. Infants and small children may be at some risk for inhaling. Uh, spray or aerosolized sunblock, so it's probably not a good idea to use that on infants and small children. And when picking a sunscreen, the FDA recommends an SPF of 30 or more, water resistant, and broad spectrum protection. While natural sunscreens are good for everyday use, they don't have that FDA stamp and won't be strong enough for a day at the beach. So if there's something that you want to have more protectant in, you're going to want something that maybe you buy commercially. Skin cancer is deadly and the most common form, but highly treatable if you catch it. It is worth paying attention to your skin. And when lathering up, lay it on thick. We do start to see the effects of the sun. And so if we can stress those habits in our kids young, we can maybe spare them some of the unfortunate aging signs that the sun will do to us long term. If you're still uncomfortable using sunscreens, you can shield your skin with light clothing, but when the summer sun is scorching, you'll want to apply some or risk facing the harmful rays unprotected. Holly Baker, NBC 26.